Here we are once again. Hey everyone, it's Cannabis News with Joe Claire. I'm your host, Joe Claire, of course. It's January 10th, 2019, presented as always by the Marijuana Times. Check us out at marijuanatimes.org. Find the audio only version of this show by searching the Marijuana Times on Apple Podcasts. You can also find the videos on not only on marijuanatimes.org, but also on YouTube and Vimeo as well. Today, Talking about cannabis law reform in the Northeast of the United States, also possible medical marijuana, progress in Kentucky, and also medical cannabis in Australia. An update from down under, as they say. Put another shrimp on the Barbie, you know, you get, you know, the whole thing. Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> you know, Australia. You know what I'm talking about before we get to all that first, of course. Cannabis news are brought to you by NatureSide, nature-side.com, and their organic, all natural pesticides. Grow safe and poison-free. Don't use harmful chemicals on what you are growing, no matter what you are growing. If you're growing cannabis in a state where it's legal, there's a lot of banned pesticides, chemicals to avoid. Avoid them with NatureSide, nature-side.com. Proud sponsor of Cannabis News. Site is CIDE. Go check them out for many reasons, including their overwhelming awesomeness. This first story is from MarijuanaTimes.org by Andrew Ward. Cannabis law reform moves through much of the Northeast. In 2018, it's basically a look at 2018 for the states in the Northeast of the United States. If you want to check out the whole recap, the whole rundown, of course, go to MarijuanaTimes.org or check it out. It's linked in the description of this video, as are all stories that I talk about, basically from the Delaware, Maryland, Washington, D.C. area all the way up. He uh, does a rundown, Andrew does, of each state. A lot of the states we've talked about in 2018, states like New Jersey, which all through 2018 we talked about being very close to uh, marijuana, a recreational adult use marijuana legalization. They're still close. Uh, they keep getting closer and closer and closer. And then when that closeness becomes, ah, oh, we have legalization. I don't know when that'll be. I'm done guessing. I've <laughs> I always said spring and then maybe summer. Uh, it's supposed to be the first 100 days of uh, Phil Murphy's administration in, in New Jersey as governor. And then we say, well, maybe it's September. And then, oh, no, it was looking like December, maybe before, you know, Christmas. And then, oh, no, it wasn't. for the end of the year, no, no, it's not. 2019, yeah, I'm confident in saying that it'll happen sometime in 2019. When? I nah, have no idea. None. Pennsylvania, of course, burgeoning medical marijuana program. A lot of talk now in Pennsylvania about legalization. The governor of uh, of the state Governor Wolf has said that it's something that should be looked at. Of course, in New York, things are moving fast. Two years ago, Governor Cuomo was calling uh, marijuana a gateway drug, and now two years later, it's one of his top legislative priorities. So something will likely happen in the New York legislature as far as adult use legalization in 2019. Same thing with Connecticut. New uh, pro-cannabis governor looking at um, you know possible legalization. Uh, Vermont. Maybe creeping towards commercialized uh, commercial sales of adult use cannabis. New Hampshire is supposed to be kind of a battle there. Governor Sununu has said, "Hey, you know, I'm fighting this all the way. Even before we get to it, I'm going to actively fight against legalization." And, and people in the the legislature are saying, "Well, it really doesn't matter. We have the votes to override a veto, so we'll do what we want." So that should be interesting in New Hampshire. Uh, of course, Massachusetts continues on the road to uh, opening retail recreational stores in the state. Maine still working toward. <laughs> I don't know. Maine is one of those states, man, where uh, obviously Governor LePage has been a big problem, and it's just the the grinding slowness of what's been going on in Maine since voters legalized recreational marijuana in November of 2016. Now, well over two years ago, it's uh, it's pretty crazy, and they're still tinkering with the medical marijuana there. So, Rhode Island, another state, could be looking at some sort of marijuana law reform. In the coming year, like I say, if you're from the Northeast and you're interested, go check out that story. I linked it in the description of this video and, of course, at MarijuanaTimes.org. This next story, out of Kentucky from the CourierJournal.com, smoking a joint, open gateway for Republican on medical marijuana. So there you have it, smoking a joint, a definitive gateway to supporting medical marijuana legislation. <laughs> hey, uh, we'll take it. Whatever it takes. Medical marijuana Legalization has picked up support from some Republican Kentucky lawmakers, including Den Senator Dan Sim, Sum, I, I used to know that, I, thought, I think it's Sum, of Bullock County, who said he smoked his joint after cancer treatment a number of years ago instead of taking opioid painkillers. 
And guess what? No nausea, said some who plans to go sponsor a bill in the Senate that would pair with a similar one that's been sponsored by Republicans in the House. That bill, House Bill 136 from Representative Diane St. Ong uh, from Fort Wright in Kentucky, also Republican Representative Jason Neems of Louisville and others. Uh, Neems said it's time to allow doctors to have this option for their patients. Um, so movement in Kentucky. Kentucky is not a place that's been known for a ton of movement for the last several years. There's been, you know, the obligatory committee uh, hearings, veterans come down and other medical marijuana patients come to Frankfurt. They tell their story. They talk to lawmakers. A lot of lawmakers say, yes, we agree. And then things just kind of don't go anywhere and it moves to next year. But this year there's really um, Republicans coming on board and Governor Bevin said if someone hits his desk, he'll sign it. So it's, uh, it's definitely as, as close as Kentucky has ever been to, uh, to having the potential of medical marijuana coming to the state and actually being voted on in the state legislature this year. This last story, as mentioned from down under, from mjbizdaily.com, Australia medical marijuana turns corner as patient count surpasses 2,000. Australia's medical cannabis market is gaining momentum as approvals for the medicine surpass 2,000 for the first time. 568 of those approvals were in November. It was a 42% increase on month, bringing the total number of approvals for the first 11 months of 2018 to 2,072. Um, the new data shows the country's streamlined processes for medical marijuana applications is producing positive results. Uh, Internet-wise, the process has become much more streamlined. They've also opened up the qualifying conditions, uh, the TGA, which is the Therapeutic, Therapeutic Goods Administration, they regulate medical marijuana in Australia. They recently opened up cannabis as a treatment for any medical condition, provided it meets certain prescribing guidelines, creating a much larger potential market in the country for medical marijuana. Medical cannabis approvals have stagnated, had stagnated before the introduction of a single application process in March of 2018. It's made it easier for doctors to prescribe medical marijuana through the Therapeutic Goods Administration's website. So things progressing in Australia. Uh, new, da new Frontier data uh, estimates that Australia will have over 300,000 patients by 2025. Of course, that remains to be seen. A lot of things factor into that. But good news, nonetheless, we continue to bring in the good news where we can find it. And the bad news, too. It's, you know, it's cannabis news five days a week. MarijuanaTimes.org. Thank you to NatureSide.com, Nature-Side.com, and the organic, all-natural pesticides. Thank you for sharing these videos and spreading the truth about cannabis with the show. Thank you for watching and listening today. Of course, we'll see you next time right here on Cannabis News.